Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope that you are having a beautiful and an amazing day. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you for all of your love and support. I really appreciate it. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Sagittarius. So let's see. Um, Six of Pentacles is here in at the bottom as the overall energy. So a lot here about reciprocity. But again, make sure that you... Um, are doing things that are going to allow you to move on to the peace that you need in your life and you may have to have the strength and the courage right now to really move away from situations that are blocking you you have the ace of pentacles here and here is the knight of pentacles nine of cups wow wise council which is like the higher for energy king of cups four of wands so um page of swords here i feel that for some of you right now you have a lot of eyes on you in your life especially like i said in your relationships specifically your romantic relationships um some of you with the knight of pentacles out here the strength card and the six of swords either you or someone in your life is carefully planning and, and being very dedicated and, and protective of whatever they're planning when it comes to actually trying to pursue you a life with you or present you with some type of opportunity. All right. I feel like there are there is an end to a lot of challenging situations here that is leading to for some of you like here, the, the Hierophant, the Wise Council, Ace of Pentacles, the Four of Wands is here, the King of Cups and the Nine of Cups here. Some of you definitely will have wish fulfillment come very soon when it comes to your romantic life. Unfortunately, your enemies are very much aware of this. And like I said, you want to focus and prioritize on bringing in the happiness and wish fulfillment that's here for you. But you need to take extra precautions right now in protecting yourself. You don't need to hide. You don't need to be in isolation. But you need to pay attention to people who are around you, who are paying close attention to um who or what or how you are celebrating because the page of swords here they are watching they're stalking they're spying all right i feel like somebody here knows that a person um has a lot of sacred knowledge and wisdom you could be like a high priest if someone understands that maybe you're very grounded right now the nine of swords okay Someone could be um, stressed out and having a lot of anxiety about trying to manifest something with you. Like I said, someone here who is very much um, money minded. Okay. The King of Pentacles and the Emperor. The Eight of Cups here and the Three of Cups. So this person could have had you in a third party situation. You walked away from this. This is someone from your past. You could have had some kind of past life connection with them as well. But... um there's a lot of magic here being done with the magician and the high priestess here with the page of swords something is being sent out to watch and monitor you heavy like monitoring spirits energy with the six of swords being out here because someone is using magic to um place surveillance around you your home and your movements this could be something as simple as someone relying heavily on tarot but i do feel like it's a bit more than that i'm, I'm picking up like i said more like monitoring spirits or whatever this is um yeah because someone here is in anxiety right now because someone understands that due to your strength now they're not going to be able to come in and actually steal something from you. Let's see. Yeah, third party situation, toxic connection. Whoever this person is that's doing this, they're already in a situation. All right. You have somebody that is trying to force you into a like a third party situation because that they, they want you to energetically contribute to their life, their house. So you have the strength card out here. There could be a Leo. The Empress out here in Aries, and then you have the King of Pentacles, or someone has those signs heavily aspected in their chart. This also could be a karmic couple. That um, I feel like if it's a karmic couple, they could both be working against you. But there's definitely a masculine out here who is very much committed to someone, but they are committed to stealing the energy of perhaps a divine feminine. So there's like the energy of a divine feminine that is backing, it's fueling the manifestations of this karmic masculine and whoever they're currently with. It's 
yeah, it's it's granting them financial stability. And this person, look at that. This is a man here, intimidation, third party situation here, and eavesdropping. And then you have divine union, all right? This person is fake. They're, they're not the person that's going to give you a divine union, but this person wants you to be in a third party situation. Th this third party situation tells me also that if you are dealing with someone right now, you can be very confident. If you are dealing with someone right now um, or being like guided into a sacred union between you and someone else, this person who wants you to be in a third party situation this person is looking into your life. That's the reason why, like I said, that page of swords energy. They keep looking into your life and they are very, um, they're saddened and they're upset by how much confidence you have. All right. This person is in some type of toxic connection and they're like your groupie. They're obsessively watching you and stalking you. Again, this person really wants you to be in a third party with them and whoever they're with and they're also willing to be a third party with whoever you may be with as well this person just wants to be in your energy because they're using your energy to manifest some type of abundance look split personality and toxic ways this person is in a relationship with someone who has a split personality who is very toxic and they have hidden agendas to go after you because you are grown, you're mature, you're wise, you're a high priestess, you're a divine feminine, and you practice a lot of self-love. The type of self-love that you have is the reason why this person's hidden agendas and there are plots and, and ploys and schemes to block you and your manifestations are not working. So they're working very hard to kind of knock you off of whatever high horse that you're on so that it's easier for them to attack you. There's a bunch, this is a lot of cards, two of cups and the five of cups is here. This is someone that you could have been in a connection with. The Knight of Pentacles is here with the wise council card. Um, I feel like you guys have a person that's coming in who wants, yeah, the wheel is turning. And look at this here, eight, eight. See, I told you, it's something about um, the Lionsgate portal, which is on 8-8. Eight, eight, and then you have 5-5, five, five, and here's the number 10. So 5-5 five, five would become 10, and then you have the wheel card here. And the wheel is, is the wheel number 20? If I'm not mistaken, 5-5, five, five, 10, the wheel 20. All right, so something here is lining up for you for this Lionsgate portal energy. It's like whatever you've been working on, it's about to take off for you. And then, wow, you have the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Cups here. So now, in all in all, we have three tens. And then you have two fives, which is ten also. So something here is coming to a complete end. Like the Ten of Swords is saying that the end of your suffering, the end of hard times is coming. Um, You're going to finally come out of like this sad type of energy that you've been in due to what people have been doing in the background there's been a lot of conflict and chaos being sent your way with the five of cups and the five of wands somebody is projecting this energy onto you because they want you to focus on something negative like i said so that it's easier for them to attack you but in actuality here the wise counsel the hierophant you could be very spiritual but your connection with god is so um It's so strong, it's so powerful that this blessing is coming in. And what's coming in for you, the King of Cups, Nine of Cups, a lot of you, it's like a, a very significant significant relationship where you're going to have a lot of success, victory. You're going to receive like an upgrade. For some of you, it's a promotion in work. But the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles, like this is your heart just overflowing with all of this happiness, joy, and abundance. And then... To add to that, you're going to also have um, some type of financial security, stability, or abundance to come in as well. So somebody here is about to get like a really big lucky break. The wise council card is the Hierophant card, which is number five. And then you have two five. So five, five, five could be significant. And then you have eight, eight. So very big changes coming around the Lionsgate portal. I feel like you guys need to start, like I said, um making sure that you are preparing right now though to protect whatever is coming in because the wheel is here and then we have the moon and the balance card so with the moon card um 
there's heightened intuition. We did just have a, a new moon in Cancer just four days ago. So that energy is still here, focusing on, you know, your home life, your intuition, your relationship with the mother, your relationship with Mother Earth. Um, you're going to be receiving a lot of downloads, and that's a good thing. There's a lot of illusions that are being removed, so your intuition is going to really be on point about things. So, of course, the enemy is going to try to come in to trick you and think, make you think that you don't know what you know that you know, right? Um, and then balance is here. This is temperance energy. Like I said, allowing yourself to be very grounded at this time is super important. You have the dreamer. Because you're about to just literally just take off. You're an earth angel. You have a new contract. There's, um, as part of your contract, there's something new that you have to do. It's a new start. And it's going to require you to trust yourself. And somebody knows that. So your enemies right now are trying to really force you into a time of a lot of self-doubt. Yeah, because you're moving forward. The chariot. Yeah, you're definitely moving. Wow. You're moving forward towards the sun. It's amazing. That's amazing. Very straightforward. Four of Pentacles is here. So make sure you're managing your time, your money, your resources carefully. You have a reunion or something to celebrate that's coming in very soon. Or you want to make sure that for some of you, if it comes when it comes to money, you want to make sure that you're not overspending. Um and also that you're not afraid to spend. Some of you, okay, I'm seeing this two different ways. You don't want to overspend and then come up short when it's time for you to celebrate when your ships come in. Because when your ships come in, so for instance, let's say you get um, a promotion for a certain job. And your the way that you dress may need to, you know, improve a bit. You want to make sure that you have money for the wardrobe. I'm seeing somebody who may start working at a bank or someone who may be very interested in real estate. If you have the type of job or you're you're hoping to get a certain job where how you dress, your presentation, um, your marketing, your advertising yourself, how you dress is going to be important okay you have to dress for success that's going to take money so make sure that you're not throwing your money away right now because it's four of pentacles is coming underneath the eight of pentacles and the eight of wands you may have some type of unexpected travel to come about you may have to travel somewhere long distance there's something here about a job some of you may have to travel somewhere and it may be a situation where you have to pay for something up front and they will reimburse you you don't want to tell somebody like hey i don't have the money or i don't have a credit card with the enough you know money to allow me to do that so make sure that you are budgeting um at this time just in case something like this comes up also for some of you you need to make sure that you are not being too frugal with money because you know how people money is energy scare money doesn't make money as people say you want to make sure that right now if you want things to come in that you're putting it out okay so I'm definitely picking up something here where somebody could de really be looking into real estate. If you're getting into like a job with real estate, I'm also getting like apartment locating or something, something here for sure with real estate, but it's new for you. Whether it's you putting out signs, paying for gas, taking people to lunch, going to networking events, whatever the case is, you're going to need money. You're going to need clothes. You're going to need, you know, re reliable trends. Um, protection or whatever the case may, may be you have you may have to travel you may want to go and meet um, a mentor this could be anything you, you know this could again it really could be anything but you're gonna have to put some energy out to get back what you want okay and it may be um, it may be a bit tough in the beginning but that that will pass this is going to lead yeah look see i knew it three of swords you may run into a bit of a, a difficult time however the seven of wands is saying though you still need to fight for yourself have confidence um stand in your power choose your battles wisely yeah the page of 
wands, page of pentacles, two of pentacles is here. Something here, it may be a little bit tough, but it's the breakthrough that's needed for you to become the empress. Whether male or female, the empress, it's the breakthrough. You're going to have to kind of go through a bit of a rough patch here because you're you're manifesting that four of wands, ace of pentacles, ten of cups, ten of pentacles energy. So something here, it does require a bit of a sacrifice. Okay, there's some kind of breakthrough, some type of new idea that you have, but your faith is being tested and your commitment is being tested. You have the king of wands here and the ego. Someone here is going to experience like an ego death. If this isn't you, this is someone else around you. And this could be someone that you are meant to work with. It could be a business partnership, romantic or whatever. But I'm seeing this King of Wands here with the ego and then the awakening justice. Wow, Ace of Wands, the lovers. So if this is like a divine couple here that's coming into union, whether you know this person or you're about to meet them. Both of you right now are going to be required in this season to sort of detach from what is and what you thought would be and really, really focus on what you want. You and possibly someone that's either in your life now or about to come into your life is going to experience some type of ego death. And I'm really picking up a masculine here, King of Wands with the ego card. Somebody here has a big ego. And you know what? Honestly, what I'm getting here is somebody is going to run into a difficult time when it comes to like starting a job, um, needing money for something. And it's going to really show somebody that they need to get out of their ego so much. It's going to force them into looking at themselves to gain a bit of insight about where they really are somebody here definitely um a hard head makes a soft butt you have a person out here who they feel strongly like they are a natural born leader and i feel that they are but this person is a bit stuck in some type of pride and ego this could be you or someone else. Somebody here is going to have to learn more about self-awareness, accountability, um, and really taking responsibility for their own choices. The ego, that's like devil energy. That's also like a bit of codependency. So somebody out here is going to have to decide, you know, do you want to be a leader or do you want to be a follower? But I see that, that there is going to be an awakening here. Again, this could be you or someone that you are connected to or about to connect with. And for sure, because Venus is in retrograde when it comes to relationships, people who are together or coming together and they have a plan to build, this is the type of turbulence that's going to come up that you're going to have to work through. It's the ego deaths because we're going into Leo season. Everybody wants to be the king of the jungle right now. Male and female. Everybody wants their their glory day to, to be right now. Everybody wants to shine. Egos are going to clash here. And some somebody is going to have an ego death though. And this is going to balance the situation out so that two people can actually have a passion and new beginning. The lovers and the ace of wands. Yeah. Okay. Not bad. This is so straightforward. I mean, it's really straightforward. I feel like this, I'm picking up of, of this Venus retrograde energy, and it's really showing you what's to come. This energy is going to pass. Okay. So if you have, like I said, trouble in paradise, it's going to pass. So make sure that you're keeping yourself grounded. Now, um, Venus doesn't go back direct <laughs> until... September 3rd. Okay. Venus retrograde and September 3rd. So we have right at about almost six weeks. This, But this time, whatever the, the turbulence, whatever the chaos, the conflict, the arguments that you, you have with other people, it's going to be very, very eye-opening. Very eye-opening for you and whoever is involved. This could be friends, family, business partners, or whomever. But egos are definitely about to clash. It's that lion, lioness type of energy. 
I'm also hearing Leviathan be very um, careful about the Leviathan spirit, which can easily come in if you are in the energy of being prideful, boastful, having any type of ego, whether this is you or someone else. You could be around other people who may um, be carrying that Leviathan-like spirit because of their pride and ego. You're going to have to protect yourself from those individuals and make sure that you're not being attacked by their spirit. That's sort of like that... Um, Kind of like a python spear, the Leviathan, it's, it's that snake energy, it's, um, and it's more like a, it's, 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 Leviathan is more like a water creature, but it's like a snake. So, when I think about that, I'm thinking, this is something that's going to play on your emotions a lot, and it's, it's going to be very quiet, very strategic, it's going to play on your emotions, and it's going to pick the perfect time to strike, and that's usually when you're about to experience your breakthrough, so, in this season, what you really want to be um, trying to protect yourself from is like that Leo energy, the pride, the being boastful, being stubborn, and protecting yourself like from the, Levi the, the Leviathan like spirit. Because somebody for sure is going to experience an ego death. It could be you or someone that you're dealing with. And this comes from, look at this. Isn't that interesting how this four of swords is like. It's like a, um, she looks almost like a mermaid, but like I just said, like a water creature, okay? You need to take some time out and heal um, because there is a rebirth happening. Someone may walk away. There, This is a time where people are going to have temporary breakups and separations, but it's okay because seven of wands, you need to stand up for what you truly believe in. If somebody is not giving you what you deserve and what you desire, you don't have to be afraid to walk away. And I'm, t I'm referring to business, family, and any type of relationship. Let go of your expectations to certain situations, a lot of situations, because there's, there's an end of a tough cycle here. A lot of people, like I said, who have been dealing with ego um, clashes and power struggles in the workplace and in your relationships, that's going to end. You're going to get a lot of clarity very soon. Wow, this is so nice. The Three of Cups. There's going to be a time to celebrate Ace of Swords. You're going to get the truth about the people that you work with, who you should be collaborating with, teaming up with, and who you shouldn't. I feel like a lot of you are going to soon be collaborating and teaming up with a, a business partner, an organization, a divine partner that you really, really care for. This has a lot to do right now, though, with your overall stability and security. So some of you have a really good job coming in. The nine of pentacles is here with the hermit. That's two nine. So Virgo season, okay? Nine, nine could be significant too. There's a lot of synchronicities here. Five, five, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. Um... 3-3 three, three is out here. And then we have two aces. You have the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Emperor. Some of you are definitely about to have like a major breakthrough when it comes to you being a, a leader. You having like this... Um, for some of you, yeah, there's a divine partner, but I want to just talk about you for a minute. You're going to really get in this like boss type energy where you're going to be a person that's in authority. You could become like a manager, an entrepreneur. You're going to actually have power and pull. And I feel like that is probably the reason right now why God is trying to make sure that your heart is in the right place, that you are not um, being too prideful or boastful or egotistical, or if it's not you, someone around you, because you are about to be in a position of a lot of power. Some of you, the six of wands, you're going to have a platform. You're going to be get, receiving public recognition. And it's sort of like right now you're being tested because the last thing God wants to do is to put you in this this position of great power, thinking that, you know, you're this really, really sweet, caring, kind um, queen of cups, only to find out later that you become like this um, queen of swords. Nothing wrong with the queen of swords, but a queen of swords who's in a low vibrational energy can be very cutthroat. Um have a very sharp tongue. And like I said, we do have that full moon in Aquarius. So that's that Aquarius like energy. You need to stay grounded. If you're in this um, energy of being very caring, kind, warm, you want to stay in that energy, but still be grounded, be secure in yourself, be confident. 
you don't want to come off as someone who is just cutthroat. So you, I feel like you are being tested to make sure you know that, that your heart stays pure. Eight of Wands, yeah, and then the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, you have some decisions to make. And I feel like, actually, with the Eight of Wands being here and the Two of Pentacles, wow, here's a Magician and the King of Wands. This leadership positional role that you have, it's going to come so fast. You're being encouraged now to stay flexible. And that's why I was saying earlier about, like, the Eight of Wands being out there. You may have travel come up with, like, a job or an opportunity. Or something may come up and... You're going to have to think really quick on your feet. It's going to be so much happening at one time. So something is about to manifest for you where you're going to have to truly show your skills as this bold, visionary, boss, entrepreneur-like person. Because not only are you going to be responsible for motivating yourself, you're, it looks like you're going to be responsible for motivating and leading something or someone else. Ten of Wands, yeah. See, there's the end of of you being burnt out and having too much hard work on you because the Knight of Wands, you're about to quickly go into a time of having a passionate new beginning. Wow, in the sun. Yeah. Don't miss this opportunity. Four of Cups. And again, you need to be aware of things in your blind spot. People trying to trick you out of your spot, but don't let that be the only thing that you're focusing on. Focus on having wish fulfillment. Because there is some type of new creative opportunity that's coming in. But right now, look at this. You have the temperance out here in the world. You're about to be seen by everyone as an earth angel. Everyone is going to, to soon know how powerful you are as like a because you, you're going to be showing your purpose. You're, you're going to be in your purpose for many people to see. So some of you right now, this is a time for you to really start like, um, how can I say this? Branding or rebranding yourself because you're going to be out for the world to see. This is something that could happen within the next 14 to 21 days. They say it takes 21 days to form a habit. You may want to think about like a 21 day reset or something like that because something is about to change. Page of Cups, you want to make sure that inner child wounding or issues that you have, that it doesn't, yeah, something here from your childhood. You don't want a way of thinking or like a fear of lack or anxiety or, or, you know, remembering the time that you were embarrassed or something. Like, you don't want that to stop you or slow you down. You're, you're going to have to be very grounded at this time because I feel like, yeah, the Queen of Pentacles, it's time for you to show up and, and be very practical. Really show that, you know, you have a good business sense and you're responsible because there is money and opportunity coming in. But this being indecisive and, and head in the clouds, confused, you know, spiritual attacks, whatever... This is what's going to come because it's to here to try and stop you from becoming the star and getting to your own star, which is your destiny. So there's information that people are going to throw at you really quickly with the page of wands to try to throw you throw you off so that you will be in some kind of mental imprisonment. You have to shake this off very, very fast, because if you don't, this is what will happen. You will fall into the trap of having a stronghold based on deception, betrayal, heartbreak, pain, and a missed opportunity. In order for you not to have this type of energy here, you're going to have to take a leap of faith. Wow. The strength, king of cups, and the judgment. Seven of swords, four of wands. Some of you, you're going to be taking a huge leap of faith also in a relationship. Some of you, someone in that, wants, that you're in a relationship with, or someone who's going to want to be in a relationship with you, they may be telling you that they're moving, they're relocating. They may ask you if you will relocate with them. Um, someone may take a job out of state. 
if a person is already out of state, they may be um, saying that they want to be in the same city or state as you, or they may ask you to move to There's a huge lifestyle change that's coming. And there's a heavy, heavy emphasis here on travel. Travel and relocation. Seven of Swords and the Four of Wands. Judgment. King of Cups and the Strength card. Let me get one more card on that. Because I feel like somebody, yeah, the lovers. Wow. Three of Wands and then the Chariot. So somebody is planning for sure to take your relationship to the next level or you or somebody is coming into your life. And this is why I'm saying you don't need to allow your past to dictate and control your future because something really good is coming. But will you have the strength to see love for what it is when it shows up on your doorstep? The chariot three of wands and the lovers. This is growth. It's expansion. It's happiness. It's you being very happy with your new choice in love and whatever you're doing now in your life the seven of swords is here with the four of wands because someone here is realizing that maybe in their past they were betrayed but they're now choosing to look over a situation from their past with more compassion and forgiveness so that they can move on to the four of wands towards actual wish fulfillment a commitment a marriage king of pentacles is here will of fortune six of swords wow and then the empress Wow. King of Pentacles. And I've said before, you have to embody this energy now of the Queen of Pentacles. The Emperor was already out here. But this King of Pentacles is going to match this Queen of Cups, Queen of Pentacles energy. When you get with this King of Pentacles, you will become the Empress. And I feel like you're already like an Empress, but... You eventually will like become legally married and you will become like the empress on paper officially for some of you. That's the change that's coming for you. This could be happening in the next three to six weeks for some of you, but definitely over the course of the next three to ten months. Yeah, King of Swords, the Moon, and the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody who's been at um the crossroads, they see the truth about a situation, it's King of Swords. They're seeing through all illusions and they're ready now to be to commit to a divine feminine. You may not know this person, but this is who's coming into your life. You can meet this person traveling or when you th this person could be new to your area. You could move. Um, They could be like in your community. This is going to be like a chance meeting for some of you or you already know this person. Yeah, some of you, you need to travel. You need a vacation on the source for source. You need to release some of this anxiety. This is this is good. It's a lot of career opportunities, money, and relationships coming. Wow, look at that. The sun. Leo season. Three of Wands is coming in. Six of Cups. Three of Cups. The devil. Yeah. And whatever this toxic third party situation is from your past that um someone has been trying to present to you, you need to stay very far away from that. The sun, three of wands. Some of you, you you have a, a child coming in or just a new beginning, new business, new opportunity. The Six of Cups, King of Cups, Three of Cups. This King of Cups person from your past could be that person that we said had you in a third party situation or they're already involved. They want to come in and celebrate with you, but they want you to be very toxic with them. Be careful. Some of you, a person is watching you and they may try to get you to travel with them. But this person will be sneaking around with you. Okay, uh, five of cups. This is going to leave you disappointed and in regret. So you need to block this energy or co communication out. Yes, some of you also be careful if you're online dating with the world card and page of swords. Somebody, somebody definitely wants to try to catch you in a vulnerable moment because they're watching you glow up, I guess you could say. Somebody, I don't know, what it's a very he heavy energy. If somebody wants you to sneak around with them. 
someone who is involved wants you to sneak around with them because they want access to you and your energy because they can see that you're quickly going yeah knight of swords eight of wands somebody already can see that you're quickly moving into uh, everything that you've been trying to manifest queen of cups your dreams are coming true this person yeah you call justice on a situation this person who has this third party you don't want this situation you want to be the queen of pentacles and you want your two two of cups somebody that you can have an eternal love with you somebody here needs to make the decision once and for all to be done with whatever this third party situation is and when you do that whoever this um toxic masculine is this person whoever they're with is constantly watching you you need to get away from this situation. Some of you, you are going to move away from like a city, a town, state, whatever. Or you've already moved away from these people and they're still watching you and um, trying to hold on to you. It's like an energy here that doesn't want to release you. Somebody out here could have a, um, could be going through a divorce and your, your, um, Hopefully soon to be ex-spouse. They're like refusing to sign the divorce papers or something like that. Somebody is trying to hold up a divorce or a separation. Someone also may be saying that they don't want to divorce. And they could be asking if you guys could just separate. Um, legally separate. But I'm getting if somebody legally separates with all of this movement and travel. I don't know how this is going to work because someone may get like an opportunity to move. There may be. Okay, so I'm seeing. I'm seeing a couple right now who. They, they've they talked about divorce. You guys may be legally separated, but I'm seeing that somebody is going to get a job. Somewhere else and. It's going to prompt the conversation for a divorce. I don't think both people want this, but it, it looks like this is divine intervention that's taking someone completely away from this situation. Also, if some of you have been in a third party situation with someone who is married, you are going to get an opportunity to move far away from this situation and you need to take it because whoever this person is that's married, I feel like, or they're involved with someone, the situation that they're in with the other person is causing a lot of chaos and conflict in your life because the person that they are with um, obsessively and excessively is watching you and monitoring you because they could be going through a breakup or separation or divorce. So you have here fear, overthinking. You don't need to let these situations around you cause you to overthink. Yeah, some, I told you, somebody is watching you obsessively, perhaps on social media. There's a lot of stuff happening within the next few weeks. Someone could be reaching out to you in the next few weeks telling you that they miss you and that they want to celebrate with you. You need to trust your trust the signs because you have people who are coming into your life who are a part of your soul purpose who want to celebrate with you. And, and someone could be a secret admirer. Um, in a few weeks, some of you have a person for sure that wants to connect with you and they do mean you well i feel like this person absolutely they're on the same frequency as you but you need to release this toxic situation from your past. somebody is coming in as like an earth angel um i'm hearing i'm hearing the song angel of mine <laughs> And what did she say? And then there was you. There was you. Every step that I take, every breath that I take. I something about I want to share with you, but something I thought that I would never find. Angel of mine. Some of you are literally you're being taken away from a job, a relationship, family, your house. You're being taken away and, and you're going to bump right into like the love of your life or your love, the love of your life. They just moved away from a bunch of stuff and they're going to show up like right in your 
community or I don't know, some of you, you may work with this person or something like that. Either you have just moved away from a bunch of stuff or they have moved away from a bunch of stuff or both of you have and you're going to meet. For some of you, Spirit just said, this has already happened. You and your person both left something really toxic and you may have met at a time where you probably felt a little bit hopeless. But no, it you met this person because they're like an angel to you or you're an angel to them. This was divinely orchestrated to happen this way. Commitment. This person wants to offer you their loyalty. They're a part of your soul purpose. They bring you good karma or you bring this person good karma. And if you have the people in your life who are currently being ruled by ego, who are unawakened, you now have to stop dealing with those people and, and speak up and move away from those energies because the real deal is here. Yeah, you have people who don't want to let you go. But see, it's time now for you to retreat, to get away. You may meet someone during some type of retreat. It's a past life connection. And look, it says good change. Karmic partner. It says past life ties or lessons and then loyal. I feel like for some of you, you have a person that's coming into your life, I feel. And you may feel like it's karmic. Because I, I won't lie, they may have some karmic energy on them, but I feel like you do too. Only because of what you recently had to come out of. Some of you guys are coming out of a, a, a major life transformation. There's a lot of endings, a lot of death and rebirth around you. But no, this person, you may mistake them as like a karmic, but they're not. This person wants to be very loyal to you. However... You and this person will kind of grow in love. You won't fall in love with this person. You will grow in love with this person. Because I feel like you both have some wounds that have come from recent situations. Someone here could have recently lost a job, a home, a car, been through a divorce, had to relocate. Like It's, it's a lot of stuff in the background, but it's like I just keep angel of mine. Like You're their angel, but they're your angel too. And what they offer you is, is is honesty. They offer you loyalty. The reason why this situation may make you feel like it's karmic is because you do have a past life with them. But I feel like this is someone new or it's someone in your life right now and it just hasn't evolved into like a relationship. There is a past life connection. And honestly, the reading that I did earlier today where I was talking about two masculines kind of battling over divine feminine. If you guys resonate with that reading, if, if you didn't watch it, you can always go back and watch it. Some of you have like a third party situation that has traveled from lifetime to lifetime. There's two people fighting to be with you. And I feel like the person that you may have been... How can I say this? <laughs> the person that you were married to in a previous lifetime. I don't think you're choosing that person this lifetime. You're choosing the person that you wanted to be with. Who had your heart. Some of you in a past life. You chose the person that was going to bring you structure, security, stability. Based on... Um, societal norms status quo family or whatever however i feel like you're you were very passionate and you were in love with somebody else the person that you were really in love with is the person that's coming towards you now but there's this spiritual battle between these two energies because you were with both of these people in a past life and the person who you were previously, who you were married to in a past life, they're your karmic now because you've, you've ascended and evolved. You don't want what they're offering. However, they don't want to let you go. This is somebody who does not want to, because I'm seeing like a, a, a 3D marriage and divorce here, but some of you, you're married to someone spiritually as well. 
They don't want this spiritual divorce to happen because when that happens, you're going to be with this other person who you actually wanted to be with in a past life. So it's like for some of you, there's two people who have been competing for you in several different lifetimes I'm getting, but the decision is yours to make. One is one is in alignment with your south node and one is in alignment with your north node, your soul purpose. I feel like right now you're ready to choose the person that's going to offer you the loyalty and the love. There is no third party situations. You know, you don't have to learn all the karmic lessons. The karmic energy around it is from the past life. It's not right now. They're not karmic to you now. There's karma around the relationship with this person simply because it was a third party situation in a past life. Wow. Now, that's interesting. Yeah, see, we have here coming forward and wrong timing. In a past life, it was you and this person couldn't be together. But now, look, romance, now they want to get to know you. They want to have heart-to-heart -heart conversations and this person wants to have like blessings and abundance pregnancy that they they see you as fertile and now the two of you have grown their self growth more self worth and awareness wow that's crazy this person is like your angel or they see they see you as their angel literally it's like this person came here for you and some of you for sure like this person you could meet this person traveling or something. It's going to be interesting. It's like they just kind of fall out of the sky into your life. Seriously. They have like a, an angelic presence or you do. And everything about the connection is being literally, I'm telling you, listen to me say this, whoever this resonates with, literally, Either your life, you've already been picked up and moved away from everything and everyone into a new life. The only thing that you have not experienced yet was meeting this person. And it's coming. Or for some of you, you're about to leave everything behind, everyone. You're going to move. Or even if you don't move, somebody is somebody else could be moving into your area. You're going to like crash. You're going to collide into this person. And you're going to realize that your lives are so similar. This is your mirrored soul. Your lives are so similar. Because I'm telling you, for some of you, this is your twin flame. Um, Yeah, in a past life, you were with somebody else that they're a past life karmic soulmate. But your heart really belong to this person who is your twin flame who you're about to meet now or you've already met this person some of you you're already with this person and you you're gonna have to have faith because whoever the past life karmic soulmate is they're probably sending bad juju to you and this person because they don't want the two of you to really to come together wow isn't that crazy I'm, this is a clear message, though. First time. Wow. The first date, kiss, or time together intimately will be unforgettable. Ease into it and appreciate every moment. Mm, first time. Somebody here might be saying, like, this is the first time that you've ever really felt true love. It's like, when you meet this person, look, hanging out, friends with benefits. Some of you, this person could be in your life. It could be like friends, but you know it's more. So, you know, like the movie and these cards literally has like the scene of the movie Love and Basketball, if you've seen it. But you have hanging out here and friends with benefits. Like, like it's, for some of you, this person could be in your life as like a friend. Someone that you hang out with. But it's more than that. And it's something that the two of you may do together that's going to like 
send these sparks flying where you're just gonna know like whoa somebody here you could have a platonic relationship with somebody and they're actually your twin flame because i'm hearing i'm hearing a woman say don't call me bro this guy could call this woman bro because it's like brotherhood like this person they hang out with you like you're one of the bros but actually no like this person loves you and they will be willing to have an actual partnership with you in a past life wow so it's like your twin f okay i've had a reading like this maybe within the last year some of you like your your best friend somebody that you look at as like almost like a brother or sister they're like your twin flame something is gonna happen where you're going to realize this wow wow oh my gosh i have chills all over me oh my goodness i have chills like all over me. <laughs> magnetic souls and building a future Wow. It says this one is a keeper. Your love life is ascending to the next level. Your sacred souls are instantly drawn towards each other. That's something like angel of my you and this person. If even if you don't know this person, if you meet them out, you're gonna it's like to be honest, for some of you, it's love at first sight. It will be. I think there's a love at first sight card in this deck. If it pops out, I would probably be ready to roll under the table. Warm embrace. Yeah, I feel like when you hug this person or something, you're just going to know. You're just going to know that this is your soulmate that you manifested. Wow. Okay, I want a one card, but I got two. Family and friends and deeper intimacy. Family and friends. Family and friends may be important to you and this person, but you and this person, for some of you, you're, you could have family who know one another or mutual friends. First time in the movie Love and Basketball, they were like friends who dated other people and everything, but their first time was them together. Where her first time was with him. That was her true love though. Some of you could be reconnecting with somebody that you like went to high school with. Or that you know was high school, college sweetheart or something like that. Wow. This is a very intense like love energy. Very intense. It's definitely some type of sacred connection. Children. Wow. You could have known this person since you was a child. Or children is... If you and this person choose to build a life and a future together, you could definitely have children with this person. I mean, without a doubt. Patience. For some of you, this person could have been in the military, the Navy, Marines, or something like that. Time, distance has separated you guys. Yeah, third party, get us know. For somebody here, this is seriously like you guys reconnecting with somebody. Like one of you has been married, traveled the world, been in the military. Like there's been a lot. I'm just saying two people come together and it's like, wow, you, the two of you have really lived your lives. And you just meet. And it's like you pick up where you left off. But it's so interesting because for some of you, this is a person from a past life. When you meet them, it's just going to feel like you've always known. It's going to feel like they were your high school sweetheart or something like that. Because literally, your heart was beating for this person in another lifetime. It's, it's a lot. It's like I'm, I'm going between like 3D, 5D, 6D. Like I'm going between different dimensions in this reading. It's a lot of strong past life energy here. 